Hey, welcome guys. So let's solve this 2097 valid arrangement of pairs. So basically you have 2D array, you have pairs start and ends. An arrangement pair is valid if a pair lands, uh, if ends and start, then you return any valid arrangement of pairs. Okay, so uh, a little bit hard to understand. So for example, five one, you can, your answer, uh, you can let's say, you, you get this and then you need to return the combination like 11 to 9, 9 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 1, okay? Such that uh, each, so it's connected, right? So each start and ends are the same. Uh, so basically you start, ends, start, ends, start, and start. So each ends, the previous one must be the start of each uh, uh, previous one. Uh, so this problem is a, it, it's a graph problem. If you don't know, if you haven't seen this, then probably there's no way you can solve it. Uh, to be honest, uh, I cannot solve this in, in the beginning. <laughs> okay. So for example, uh, let's draw this. So let's say you have five to one right, and uh, four to five and uh, 11 to nine. So 11 to nine and the nine to four. Okay, so you're, you, you get this pass, right? So you, each pairs, so that means now we get an answer, right? So each pairs will give, give you a directed graph. And then you need to find a star and then star in, right? So you need to output a so-called uh, Euler path. Okay, so which is the, uh, uh, go through every edges. And uh, the good thing is that uh, you already believe, that you already believe that uh, there's always an answer. Right, so is this a value? So basically you don't need to worry about the, uh, there is no answer. So there's always answer. So the problem is that, uh, so so the problem is that uh, where, so the problem is that where should we start? Right, so in, in this case, you, you can see the answer, right? Because that, let me just count the incoming edges. Oh, sorry, right, let me just count outgoing edges minus incoming edges for each, for each node. So this guy has one outcoming edges, this guy is one and in, so it's zero, one and in zero, one and in zero, and then this guy is minus one, right? Because he only has in. So you notice that uh, in order to start in the answer, you must start from something which is out and minus in for each, for one, okay? So the algorithm first start uh, at the node uh, with uh, out, minus in equals to one, right? Because there's a, that means it has more out, okay? And the, the algorithm is very simple, just run a DFS on start. Okay, so this is actually the mathematical theorem. Uh, there's, this is the algorithm uh, called uh, uh, her, uh, this her Herholzer's algorithm. So basically find the Euler graph uh, or the pass on the reading cycle. So start from the edge without and minus in equals one, otherwise start from any points. Okay, and then you just run DFS. And you can Google that you can find a, you can Google and find there's a theorem proof that uh, the Euler path for directed graph exists. If and only if there is a, if and only if there is out in, my, in minus one and another point out in, in negative one or everything is out equals to in. This is the, the necessary and the sufficient conditions for, uh, for the connected graph such that a directed graph exists. So the order path exists, okay? Uh, this is the, there's a mathematical theorem that uh, proof this is true, yeah, okay. So, okay, so start from any graph without minus in, otherwise start from any points and run DFS. Okay, so let's go through the code. So I can create a dictionary, right? Because I want to get a graph, okay? And uh, count default into, so I go each pairs, D of I zero append I of one, right? Because I start from the start to end, and uh, if anyone counts, if I, if I get I zero, that means it's, it, it, there's an outgoing, right? So I add one, uh, there's a in, uh, incoming, so I minus one, okay? So I, can, I initially I start to be zero, zero, where I just pick up, for example, I just pick up, uh, in this one, I just pick up five as my original star. And I count, uh, I count which one is one. So basically this is the out minus in equals one. I find star point. If I cannot, if I can find it, then I just that star to be I. If I cannot find it, then then whatever, I can start from any point. 
now I initialize the answer and then run DFS. So DFS means starting at U point U means that if there's a something left, I just go through. Okay. And I collect the DFS start. I start with DFS start and finally return the uh, return the, the the reverse. Okay. Because I, I start from 11, right? So I I I start so I always I append it at the final, so I should I should uh, do a reverse. Okay, so uh, that's it. <clears throat> I mean, it's amazing that this can solve the problem. Okay, so uh, see you guys uh, next videos.